Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Your host, Raven, here. Um, doing a special video uh, today. Finally, all my computer components uh, got here in the mail. Got the case today. It's super awesome. And uh, I started work uh, building it. So I did a birthday video and crazy audio. But uh, basically, I've already opened it up. Um, I will be posting my pictures and all that type of stuff. Intermittent in this video, um, like from before everything was unboxed and you know, I was screwing up everything. Well, I haven't screwed up yet, you know, hopefully. <laughs> so, um, I haven't done anything but installed a rear uh, IO port, yeah, the IO uh, seal, so I can see. Yeah, that's all I've installed so far. So, <laughs> um, going in it, but this is, I'm not going to do it all at once anyway because it takes hours. So, basically, I'm going to make a short video each time, like showing progress or whatever. Right now, it's just stuff is just getting unboxed. And um, I'll put it together with uh, pictures and everything in its original pretty boxes, and um, bam, upload to YouTube for y'all. Now, I switched to uh, PC gaming instead of uh, Xbox One and PS4. Xbox, their policies suck. Microsoft, I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, they reversed a lot of their uh, controversial, you know, to say the least, uh, policies, but they do um, still 500 bucks. And it's not, the tech is going in there isn't that great, you know, so screw them. PlayStation 4, uh, they're a little bit better tech, but still nothing, you know, compared to a PC. And um, also, they're gonna change to so where you have to pay to pay. Um, their online service was free, unlike unlike Xbox Live. But now they're changing that policy to where you have to pay, and uh, that's ridiculous. I'm not gonna pay. So um, I'm switching to PC gaming. I bought custom uh, parts. Um, I think green and black for every piece. Um, it's gonna have double the memory of Xbox One and PS4. Double everything. And so anyway, um, that'll wrap up this intro. Uh, as I do more stuff and get more things worked out and show better looking stuff, I'll make a video of that. Let's uh, look check out these cool pics while um, we go to part two of this video. All right, welcome back to the second part, ladies and gentlemen. This is the CPU. Um, not sure how clear. I probably can't read it, but it's the latest i7 uh, 4770 chip. That's how it looks on the face, and this is the pin connectors on the inside. Well, yeah, my camera's not HD, but um, in real life, there's like thousands of little like like hounds tooth looking metal pieces on it. And I'm gonna start in the board which is for the first time ever on the board. Give me a sec. I've already opened up the CPU case, which is this w crazy, crazy, like, flapjack kind of doohickey thing, you know what I'm saying, like steel, like, casing shell or whatever. And the way it's notched uh, on the inside, you can't, like, orient the chip wrong, so pretty cool, pretty new, and, uh, okay, I'll get this right. Oh, sorry, I can't see. Uh, It shows. So anyway, I'm put the chip in. Make sure I got it oriented right. Don't want to fry the CPU, you know what I'm saying? OK, 
Okay, at least I got it connected on pretty good. And I don't know, I'm thinking I should have bought gloves. So anyway, bam, got it installed there. I hope it's not too shiny. I can't tell what looking at it from the L C D because I'm recording this using my laptop webcam, so I'm looking at the screen at an odd angle, so it's kinda bright. Well yeah, got it installed and nothing popped or fizzled or I didn't hear any metal bending or breaking or anything, so I, I take that as a good sign. Uh, this also came with the uh, chip. This is the stock cooler, the um, CPU cooler that comes inside the box. This uh, this contact area touches the, the metal face of the CPU, and um, you know draws out heat into this this uh, radiator fan. And this, you know, fan obviously blows, takes air, and removes the heat from the the paint, the grill, or whatever. And that seems pretty straightforward too. Um, it should be a bottle of thermal. I do have some thermal glue. I forgot what I did with it. Oh, here, no, that's not it. Uh, okay. What what I do with the box? That was Is this it? No, that's fine. Alright, well anyway, I misplaced the, the thermal glue tube, so I'll be back to y'all after I locate it. Alright? Alright. Uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Host of Radio. Uh, silly me, the thermal compound uh, was actually pre-put on the, uh, the cooling, the heat, uh, heating unit or whatever. So, uh, that was my mistake. Like, I was expecting the, you know, the tube or the liquid, you know what I'm saying, but it already had a face on there. So anyway, we got the chip faced in there, which is pretty simple. Um, they make it so it only fits one way. Um, it's, that's not difficult at all. Uh, the fan, also simple. You just, boom, stick it on there and uh, attach the, you know, the push, the push, the push pins in and turn them. I mean, that's... It's not rocket science, it's so science. So, so far, so good. What I'm doing now is mounting the motherboard to the case. Uh, hoping I can get a good shot. And, um, yeah, so far, so good. All right, I'll get you back with the next section. Um, uh, when I finish putting in, I think what I'm going to do next is uh, we'll mount the motherboard. Uh, then I'm going to open up the, mem the memory, which is way over there in the back of the room. So. I'm going to do that and then boom, I'll come back to y'all. Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I got the back side of this one showing. Okay, so these are my memory modules. Um, the two 8 gigabyte uh, Corsair Vengeance uh, memory cards. Or, well, they're not memory cards. I don't know why I call them that. But they're RAM. So it's uh, each one of these is 8 gigabytes of memory. PlayStation 1, Xbox, I mean, Xbox One, PlayStation 4 is only going to have 8 gigabytes RAM, and these two babies make 16, plus I have two more slots in my motherboard for two more of these bad boys to make 32. So anyway, um, the motherboard has got great features. My extra cool motherboard tells me. Tells me right here, you know, DDR, th uh, DDR4, 2, 3, and 1, and they're also color coded. So, this is the first one, this is the second one, this is 3, and this is 4. And uh, bam, basically, I mean, that's you know, you just you know, slide it in. All right, more updates to come. All right, your host is waving back again. Bam, this time we're doing the uh, graphics card, which probably can't see because of glare, but uh, this, this is the PNY GeForce GTX 760. I have one right now, but in the future I'm going to get another that have dual, uh, so I can have dual graphics cards, and we're going to unbox it and put it in, check to the motherboard, so that would be pretty cool. But all this is like really cool, like the case is so boss, I wish I had a more HD camera or whatever, because it's really great looking. Oh, plastic.
Yeah, it's also the you probably can see it better um, without the plastic wrap. Oh yeah. So anyway, this thing like they just like New Egg just did a video on this uh, recently. It's and I, I saw it online and I, I thought it looked great, but until but seeing the um, the New Egg video like really made me think like oh yeah, this is the card to get. And I'm trying to find the correct way to open the box. All right. Okay, it looks like it might slide out. What is this? Okay, there it goes. All right, cool. And the cat is over there looking like, hey man, let me help you build the computer. And I'm like, no thanks, man. Damn, it's huge. All right. And uh, you got your, I mean, if you watch the New Egg unboxing video, I mean, you see the software disc, which a lot of people say they don't never use this, but um, I'm a new builder, so I'm going to keep everything and at least check it out. You know what I'm saying? I might not need it, but it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So, anyway, what's up? what else comes with this bubble wrap pack? It's like pink bubble wrap. Bam. Well, I keep dropping components. Alright, so there's this huge piece of uh, metal and stuff. It's going to take me a while to read up on that. And we got this like power connection cables. Bam. And we have the handy guide. It's the handy guide. So anyway, I'm gonna look over this stuff real quick and um hit y'all back after I got it in. So but anyway, before I go to the next section, this video and put it together as one video to prevent you know just like one super long video of me like unboxing. So anyway, uh, you can see the memory sticks are installed in, on the motherboard. Bam! So I, uh, just keep watching. I'm, I keep saying stay tuned for the next part, but, I mean, but after I put the video together, I mean, it's going to be one long, one whole video. So, um, well, stay tuned till I come back. Bam! Bam! Back at you. I had to unbox the video. Also, I unboxed the power supply unit, which goes in the bottom. Which I mean, that's just that's just super straightforward. Uh, I two set of cables, bam, 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 to the motherboard, and it goes down there. Um, yeah, the the graphics card is in. Basically, you just match it up to you know slot, match it up to these uh, panels here. You know, screws. But you take these metal, these come out. And you use the same screws to secure the graphics card. So bam, bam, that's all good. We got the uh, power supply. It's 900 watts, and this thing was crazy when I first opened it up. Like I can't get over this cord. I, it looks like a snake, but um, hey, that's what you need. So that's what I got. So anyway, uh, also, um, inside the case, so I noticed there was like a white. You know, I was like, where the hell is that? So. I put, I uh, popped the, uh, the drive out, drive tray out, and it was actually a box with the instructions and extra screws. So, um, when you're doing a first time build, uh, put all inside the case. You have a manual and extra screws and stuff to be in the box, but it was actually in a box inside the case, inside the hard drive slot. So, you know, go figure on that. Uh, anyway, so we're moving right around. The kitchen table is um, with there's paperwork, unboxed plastic, not as pretty as um, the pictures I took before I unboxed everything on Facebook. But uh, probably it's being ship shape. And uh, I'll come back with the next part. All right, back again. Probably so great so far. Uh, got the power supply unit in. Uh, you know, on the bottom of the case will tell you how to put it, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, the only thing now is, like, matching up all these cards on the motherboard and connecting the fans and stuff. And, like, this, the power supply is, like, man, it's a mess of just cords, and there's, like, stuff everywhere, you know? So, um, whatever. One thing I wasn't too sure about was the video card. Not too power uh, supply, like, ports or whatever, but 
I'm, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to use one or both. So I'm going to start off with one. If it doesn't work, then I add another. Because I'm worried about like it getting fried or whatever. I don't want to fry anything. So uh, I guess what the next is a uh, uh, DVD burner. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, get it like that. It's upside down. All right, DVD burner, uh, burner and uh, uh, this puppy here, Seagate, two terabyte HDD. So I'm gonna unbox those and get them hooked up and set in their slots, and I'll be back at you. Bam, coming back at you. Um, next. I use the second slot right here because it was more convenient. Uh, the DVD player is installed up here, which is that was really simple and really easy. I really like installing the DVD uh, burner. Um, the drive was kind of wonky. You have to put like, I mean, it wasn't wonky. I'm just inexperienced. You have to put like rubber grommets on this plastic tray, and the way it faces with the plugs facing back out that way, that was a little awkward. I had to do a little wiring work on the back. So anyway, basically everything is connected, ready to go. I'm uh, still not sure about this second uh, power supply point on the graphics card. Hopefully it just say it doesn't have power. I'd rather be underpowered and let me know so I can attach another cable than it to be overpowered and blow up, you know. Maybe it won't blow up, but hey, this is my first time building a PC. Um, besides the mass of like cables and guts, um, looks pretty sweet. Looks definitely looks sweet, and um, and that's all the boxes. Uh, uh, the rest of the boxes are the keyboard. Well, right, here's the mouse. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the mouse and uh, the keyboard box. But obviously, you know that doesn't. That doesn't go inside the computer, you know what I'm saying? It just, you know, it's just something you just plug in when you're finished. So, uh, USB ports are connected, uh, fans are connected, which is important. Um, motherboard is connected to the power supply unit. Uh, the, the top panel buttons are connected uh, to power supply. Uh, everything should be ready to go. Um, and got uh, uh, SATA cables and stuff, you know, from. The drive came with data cables. I got four data cables from the motherboard. Um, so I have a lot of those. The power supply unit, I really have to say, is, is boss. Um, I got the DVD burner drive OEM and didn't come with any cables. And I was fine for the SATA cables because you know I have I have so many. But it didn't have that little that little 15 pin connector to the four pin connector power supply, but luckily my power supply unit came with that, so I can it, and I hope that works, so, um, uh, what I need to do is take my TV out here, and bring the computer in there, because I'm using my TV, uh, as a monitor, so, um, and I'm going to give it a first time power up, and, uh, see if enough, hopefully nothing blows up, you know what I'm saying, so, uh, I'm going to do some moving around, moving the TV, uh, whatever I try, to move the case or move the TV, and I, you know, I gotta do some manual labor, and there's a lot of paper and crap, plastic bags, foam, bubble wrap, the uh, cardboard boxes, everything. So, gotta do a little bit of cleaning up, and uh, I'm gonna when I get everything set for the first time power up, I will come back. Bang. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, got the video set up. This facing the TV, and I'm gonna try to cut it on and see what happens. Maybe it don't even cut on. So we'll see. Um, first, I think there's a power on our switch on the back of the computer on the power supply, so I need to make sure that's on. That means I press that button. Um, I 
pattern on the computer. You may not be able to see, but there's an a orange light on the motherboard. It's uh, right uh, there, top right where my finger is. So I don't know if I'm supposed to press that or not. Uh, anyway, I'm going to try cutting the system on. Well, it cuts off for a second and then it stops, so maybe I don't have something hooked up right. So anyway, that was the first time I had nothing pop, okay? Alright, be back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, back again. Um, last time, it didn't start. I uh, read the manual and realized I forgot to plug in one of the power connectors that goes up top. There's two separate ones, and uh, I made a new mistake. So anyway, uh, I got that connected, and I'm uh, going to boot it up. So everything's, the fans are on, except for the case fans. That's weird. So uh, I got a code on the motherboard. You probably can't see it on the laptop. And it says uh, AE. So I have to look that up. It's probably going to be a lot of videos. Like if I do like every single problem I encounter every time I boot it up, it's probably going to be a lot of videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to like you know solve this AE problem uh, and keep like different. You know, I'm going to keep solving problems until it works, and then I'll show you all the finished uh, results. So stay tuned. All right, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, back again. Um, once again, there was a rookie mistake. The reason that the case fans weren't coming on is because they were switched off <laughs> on top of the case. So I looked at the fan switches and I put them all to low. Uh, and so far, when I press the button, everything boots up fine. Check it out. Wow, it's coming on my TV. Yeah, it's working, working. I mean, it's uh, working. So this is my TV. Awesome. Hell yes. The BIOS is up. Uh, so basically, that's like um, after putting the OEM Microsoft system I got. You know, what the case? You got a bad boy. You just don't play for it. What? They just, oh! So um, so there's the uh, top, and the top fans are going all the way. It's so crap. Like honestly, my laptop fan is louder than the whole than all six. Was it six or five? One, two, three, four, five. And there's only there's five. So my lap, the, my single laptop fan is louder than all five of these fans plus the CPU cooler going at once. I mean, I don't hear nothing. I'm literally like next to like inches away from it. So that's all in my low. That is badass case. I all of the cases of fans are on high now. With all fans on high, honestly, the laptop fan is still louder. So anyway, I got some BIOS work to do. Um, I guess hardware setup is complete so far. Um, I have to go and the BIOS and everything out. But uh, so far, everything boots up. Uh, everything's working. And yeah, like, okay, they're a little bit cranked up. And listen. Oh, yeah, man. It's so silent. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's so silent, man. Like, you can, like, okay, the laptop over is making no noise. Oh, wow. So, this is so great. What? 
Oh wow, this is great. So anyway, I um my case thing is uh, black and green. You can see it's got the green lights coming out of it. I was worried about the the um the DVD burner because you know whatever manufacturer they might put any kind of light on it. But I noticed earlier when I pressed it, it flashes green. Ah, hold on, move my finger in the way. Nope, it's green. So that was just a stroke of luck. I'm thankful to God. I'm so blessed. It's so nice. Like this is probably one of the nicest things I've ever owned. So it's great. Um anyway, uh I'll get back after I fiddle around the BIOS and make sure everything's working because that's another thing of reading, you know, wait for stuff to load, you know, doing all that type of stuff and running system checks, all that type of stuff. So anyway, I uh, guess I'll end this video when I come back. I uh, guess we're going to load it up with uh, Windows 7 and I'm uh, downloading games. Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I promised the next time I came back I'd be downloading games or whatever. But this is so cool. Oh my gosh. Like, oh wait, I'm going away from the camera. Yeah, it's super awesome. It's huge, man. It's like, wow, it's, got, it's got like rest for your my hands, and like like this like this part keeps my pinky and like these two fingers it keeps them from dragging on the um, mat. Wow, it's great. Um, my keyboard is also lit up, ready to go. Um, it, the colors are white now, uh, white LEDs. But I got this keyboard for a specific reason. I can change the color, so obviously I'm going to go with green. Every now and then I might change it to something else. So I haven't even entered the BIOS yet, which is what I'm going to do. And it's sitting on the shelf, uh, which is it's a modest TV. It's 39 inches. So far, um, the mouse control like it's not too crazy, like. Zooming all over the screen or whatever. So I enter the BIOS real quick. And um you know, okay, wow. Which looks pretty sweet. It's also in highlighted in green. It's awesome, man. I'm so excited, I'm so happy with um my purchases just looks great man so anyway this this has like stuff for overclocking and all that type of stuff which I'm not going to be doing that um although I will change the system memory multiplier because I mean I want 1600 uh, megahertz my uh, my um, memory cards are six my memory cards are, are not memory cards. I don't know why I keep calling them that. Um, my RAM is 1600 hertz, so I'm you know the stock the uh, stock default setting is 1333, and you know that's like kind of low speed, especially if I'm gonna you know have super graphics on Skyrim and uh, Minecraft, you know other you know World of Warcraft, all the other you know PC games I want or uh, Crisis or whatever. So I right, now I'll do like more fan dangling in the thing, which it seems pretty simple. So I'm not going to change much. Um, it looks like I got profile options and uh, there's stuff for peripherals and things like that, which it seems it seems really straightforward. Like I'm a new builder; I've never built a uh, PC before, and it's not like oh, what's this? You know, everything like you know, a tech, really technical language like, you know, CM-8XX interface, you're like, what? You know, what's this? Oh, gosh, you know? It's just basically um, tells you the base clock, um, what, it can, what it can do, what it can go up to, um, and I mean, it's plain, it looks really nice, too, that green is just awesome. So anyway, I'll get back to y'all. Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Bam! With the final part of this, um, New PC build video. I'm sorry if it's amateurish, choppy, blurry, or sounds bad or something. I'm not sure how it's going to be. But um, hey, it's my first time. It's my first build. So Windows finally finished. Uh, 
are extracting files. But um, yeah, it's just new. Like there's nothing on the desktop. I mean, it's brand spanking new. It's like a naked baby. Um, I. things building the PC were like rec recognizing the cores like it's easy to recognize the SATA cables but the other things are all these weird shapes and you know funky colors or whatever if you're not used to it it's just really like you know understanding of the cables what goes where um what does what you know that type deal and make sure I'm not running and I'm recording this on my laptop so the sound may be terrible but anyway, um, I say that was the most time-consuming thing: the the video card, the CPU, the chip, the cooler, uh, all that stuff is basically. I mean, you can't put it. I mean, the video card has like three different slots. But I mean, common sense says not to use that one middle one. Like, if you, especially since I know I'm going to be using another video card, I'm going to be using two. How can I stick a video card in the middle? Where are the other two gonna fit? You know, so I can put one on the top and you know one on the bottom. You know, that's that's like common sense stuff. But uh, if you're using one big card, I guess you could use that middle slot. Uh, memory, same thing is labeled. Um, the, and that motherboard is color coded. You know, with the green and black. So you know that's you know pretty not foolproof, but you know pretty straightforward. Uh, um, yeah, basically everything worked, which I'm very grateful for. Like reading reviews online, a lot of people they get parts like drives and you know hard drives and DVD burners and whatever, and it's DOA dead on arrival. Uh, board messed up, you know, CPU messed up, you know, something's messed up, you know. But uh, thankfully, none of that's messed up. Everything worked right out of the box. Um, it looks great, man. And uh, so anyway, I'm gonna do some basic things here on Windows. It's not attached to the internet, so um, what I'm gonna do is go to where's devices? No, wait. Um, oh wait, here it is. Uh, it's already highlighted. Okay, open folder, view files. All right, cool. And uh, well, let's take these and move to the desktop. Gotta have something to play on it. Um, you know, all the other games I have on my laptop, which aren't, you know, my laptop can't handle playing them. Basically, those are those are downloaded off the internet, and it's gonna be like. The smallest one will probably take like two hours to download, so I'm not going to be, you know, wasting that much time. Like, I have all that up and running off screen or whatever. And then I'm going to start uploading more YouTube gameplay and more videos from my new PC with uh, better graphics, more boss games. Um, if you hear like a loud wah sound, that's the laptop. <laughs> the PC is silent. I mean, it just, it just doesn't make any noise. Um, so, you know, everything so far so good, and let's see here. And I'm a, I'm a, I have to change the background, like, ASAP, because that, that Windows logo and just the plain blue is really ugly. I mean, it's not ugly, it's just, yeah, it's just ugly. It's stock, it's ugly, you know, 
you know, it's, it's wild. So um, let's see. Personalize. And then uh, let's see. I'm gonna make a theme. I'm gonna make a custom theme. And now what we're gonna do desktop background. For the new laptop, I mean for the new computer, I'm going to use a new uh, folder for uh, backgrounds. Okay, cool. Wow, and like this was all like anime things. And I'm going to change the picture. For the first, to showcase it, I'm going to show, I'm going to have a picture change every 10 seconds. Um, and the processor can handle it. I mean, it's not like the computer is going to overheat or whatever, you know, just changing the background picture, especially this one. It better not, as much as I spent on it. Um, okay, cool. And, uh, and, uh, no, I don't want to shuffle. I'm going to take that off. I can't see the other side of my screen. Okay, so it say changes right there. Okay, bam. Uh, and uh, what else? I have to change this uh, fuchsia colored crap. It's really awful. Well, it's not fuchsia. I don't know what color it is. Gray blue, slate blue, or something? Pale slate blue? I don't know. This line, um, all right. Well, that's that's kind of lame. All right. Well, anyway, uh, window color. Here we go. And uh, let's try to get a green that matches the the PC. I wish there was more detail than that, but I guess it's like this for brighter. Yeah, that's kind of ugly. I, I accept that. And, uh, you know, what's the. No, I don't want the man. Okay, I I want to change the active window color, not the um. What's my call it? Well, that's just gonna hit the face of green. Does that make a difference? No, that's the text. Well, that's weird. Alright, whatever, I'll, I'll cancel that. I'll do that later. But, um, well, let me set up, give me a moment to set up the PC again. Set it right, looking or uh, whatever. In fact, I will cut back to that. Because, you know, that's more like fumbling around and stuff. Which, uh, well, I'm sorry for fumbling around on the Windows desktop thing or whatever. And I'm using the mouse to the PC to try to operate this. I'm like, why am I can't why can't I click on the video on the laptop? And it's because that mouse isn't connected to this laptop. Alright, be back. Alright, sorry about that. Got everything back. Anyway, also I'm gonna get a smaller desk. But anyway, I got the So awesome, and every 10 seconds is going to change the anime a video game. That's from Final Fantasy Tactics. That's like the characters, the hero, uh, Grayus, all the main characters. That's Tali Zora from the Mass Effect series. Um, that picture, in particular, is from Mass Effect 2. It's like, man, it's so clear. 
Um, most people who watch anime know it's Ghost in the Shell. So it's only like uh, 19 and they change. Uh, there's another Ghost in the Shell one. Like they kind of, I got them all kind of together. And I'm hoping it shows up clear because it was great sitting here. Like, man, it's so awesome. It's like, man, this is fresh. And then the computer looks boss. Like, so boss. So, anyway, yeah, no, um, one of the key things, um, like I say, one, I, like, get familiar with the chords and stuff. Um, the, the rest of it's not too difficult. Once again, that's Talzora and, uh, Legion. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think of another major problem I had. Uh, well, one problem I had that, um, was kind of weird. Well, it wasn't so much of a problem. Well, it was a problem that got solved by the fact that the power supply had a, a necessary piece, a cord to go with um, what I was looking for. But the the DVD drive I got OEM. That means just a bare drive, no cords, no connections, um, no anything. And so it was it was missing a piece to the, you know to the power supply you know like come, I had spare SATA cables but I didn't have a cord for that luckily the power supply did come with um, daisy chain uh, power supply things that matched that uh, interface so that was weird but it solved itself um, I probably won't be getting that OEM drive again though because it's just you just want to make sure you have everything you want or everything you need like right off the get go you know you don't want it to rely on luck that something else provided something, you know what I'm saying? So, um, so that's, you know, that's, that was a weird, uh, problem to get into. Uh, other than that, um, I'm trying to think, uh, I had, maybe because I'm just, uh, being a super noob, but I had a little bit of tr trouble uh, installing the, um, hard drive. It's easy to pop out of those slots, but, like, the 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 what I wasn't expecting is the the uh, tray for the um, hard drive is so like tight like like I mean it's not just like it fits it it fits it like exactly like and it's like these little plastic pegs because it's a toolless uh, drive bay and um those little plastic uh, humps are supposed to go where the where you know normally a screw would go you know if you're using the ones with a require a screwdriver so um. You know, and like the thing is so like form fitted, like I mean it's exact, and it's so like in order to get the drive in there, I had to kind of like stretch the plastic a little bit until the drive like kind of popped in, and then it came back together. But I was so during that process, I was so afraid of like you know it's a plastic you know tray of it cracking or breaking. You know, I mean I was reading a magazine, uh, CP magazine, where they were like. Well, you might crack a drive tray. I mean, it's no big deal. We're only like five cents, you know, just go buy another one or whatever. But, you know, when you're building a PC, whether it's the first time or the hundredth time, I mean, you don't want to break anything, you know? I mean, so that scared the hell out of me. I was just like, oh, crap, you know, but you have to take a, I took a little bit of risk, and it worked. It's, it's a, you have to stretch it a little bit because it's so form-fitting, you know? It's like, it's like some chick putting on spandex, like, it's, it's so tight, like she has to like squeeze a little bit, you know, get in there. So um, that that was scary. Everything else was great. Um, the keep all the ports worked right off the bat, which I was very happy about. Um, it wasn't like like all the the mistakes and boot like booting the computer up. Um, were just like simple stuff, like I forgot to plug this in or. I forgot to check, you know, like the fan situation. I was like, when I first booted it up, I was like, oh, it's coming on, but the case fans aren't coming on. I was worried, thinking, oh no, I didn't connect this right, and this is going to mess up. Kind of find out on the top of the case, as I stated earlier in the, this video, um, I, the, the switches were just switched to off by default from the factory. So once I turned them to low, you know, or high, you know, to the on position, you know, they came on. Uh, another stupid thing that wasn't, you know, an error or anything, just me being crazy. Um, uh, when I first booted the computer and like 
and it just kept like whirring, like it cut off for like a split second and cut immediately back off. And that's just because I forgot to plug in one of, one of the power cords to the top. There's two separate ones. I also explained that in the video. So, which I'm just glad everything came, everything worked. Um, it's way early from New Egg. Uh, all the parts weren't supposed to be here till I wouldn't expect them till Friday. Uh, it's Wednesday. So, or was it today, the 5th or the 7th? I'm not sure. I think it's. I think it's the seventh. Um, you know, I'm not sure of the date because I'm crazy, but uh, whatever they they're here like two two days early, so all the parts got here like two days early. And I used the basic shipping, the the egg saver shipping. I didn't use like two day shipping or nothing special. You know, I just got the basic. Uh, most most cases it was free, like when I was ordering the individual pieces. And when I ordered all the rest in the one lump, I mean it was only like um, like what four bucks, you know. I really like that uh, Tolly picture. So everything works. Um, the only thing I have left to do now is uh, figure. Well, I need to buy like a bigger thing because like that, the desk, everything's resting on. That was I bought that for the TV, not the computer. So I have to buy like a either a, a bigger like entertainment thing that can hold both the TV and the computer or just like a separate thing for the computer alone you know uh, other than that I need to figure out how to change the LED lights on my keyboard that's the only thing that isn't green at the moment um, the mouse is awesome it looks like something an alien made or whatever you know what I'm saying so it's just great it feels comfortable it feels great it feels boss it, it feels like this you know, uh, it's, I like the sleek look of it. Um, it feels boss. It it has it's a gaming mount, so it does have all like the extra buttons and stuff. But it's not like an overwhelming amount amount like forty two different like buttons on it. It's only like seven. So, which you know, which I'm glad. Uh, let's see what else can I uh, talk about? Um, the you I got the PNY for buying the uh the the GeForce uh, six you know, seven sixty um, graphics card. I mean, they sent me the free sixteen gigabyte memory stick, which you saw on top of the case, and so that's boss. That's really great. Um, so I'm really happy about that. That was nice. Also, there's a card for a Splinter Cell download, you know, which is you know download the game for free. So that's that's boss too, and I get started on that as soon as possible. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that like, I unpacked or did. Um, a lot of stuff, yeah, I mean, in the beginning, it, I kind of, like, showed y'all, like, after I'd already done something. But trust me, like, the parts that aren't in this video are not worth watching. It's really just me, like, staring at uh, cables in confusion, you know, or staring at, um, you know, paperwork in confusion. So it's, not, so it's not like, you know, oh, well, he skipped out this and he skipped out that. Um, it's, it's just really, that's just, like, you know, first time, like, confusion, like, and now I know what everything looks like and how everything works and where it goes. Like I'm not. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could put one together way faster than that. You know, and you know, especially since I'm comfortable in the order of the parts. You know, I'm not scared to open this box first or open that box first. You know. Uh, I mean, basically, you know, you got you get the case, so you obviously open that up. You know, check it out, and make sure you got the manual and screws, do all that good stuff. Uh, that's the first thing you check out. Uh, one note, one thing I did, the jewel case is like pristine because I left the plastic on it until like I just showed it, you know, earlier in the video. Like I, I took that panel off and set it aside and it's plastic covering the jewel part on both sides. So just leave it on there, you know, what's the sense of taking it off, you know, especially while you're handling the case and it's going to get scratched, some kind of stuff. So right now it's pristine and perfect. There are some fingerprints on the case. I kind of do wish I wore like some tight like like cloth gloves when I was building the PC. Not because I was afraid of touching parts or anything, but I was because like you know you'll leave fingerprints on the case, which later you gotta uh, wipe off or whatever. So that kind of sucks. But um yeah, it's uh, I lost my train of thought and I'm sorry about that. But yeah um. Yeah, basically it's just once you know, all the stuff I cut out is just me being confused. Um, this the and like you know it seemed like I skipped a lot, but it really I didn't. Um, like 
because basically like, once you know where to put something and how it goes I mean it's it's not rocket scientists I mean I don't care if you're like a 45 year old like soccer mom and you never seen a computer on um, separate ones that you know you were bought for you you know from the store or whatever like I mean, once you know what goes where I mean installation is a cinch you know um, there's a there's some like you know being new at it, there's some parts that are kind of creepy like because the uh, the memory uh, the RAM uh, sticks and uh, the card they like snap in when you push them in so you know you never whenever you're dealing with something really thin you never want to hear a snap sound but like in this case the snap sound was good because that means it's in the slot correctly it's in there tight. Um, the but like the BIOS was was I really like the uh, interface. Um, it was great. I would say the most useful paperwork um, what, for the whole thing was actually the motherboard manual, um, the motherboard manual and the case manual. The the um, the card manual wasn't that great. Um, like for the the video card, like the man, the video card man was basically like stick it in there and it'll work. You know, it's like it didn't tell you anything. You know, um, I I really hate manuals that are really sim like oversimplified. Like you want a simple simple instructions, but you don't want it to basically say, hey, just you know, do it right. You know, I mean, well, any idiot want you know, everybody wants to do it right. You know, come on, it isn't you know, you don't need to be told that you want to do it correctly. You know. Um, that's your base desire or whatever. I mean, like, get, like, tell me how to do it correctly, you know? Like, so that, I think the graphics card manual was really crappy. Um, like I say, though, like, once you, like, the pro, like, PC builders, they don't need it anyway, you know? But for me, you know, first time, I was, you know, you're scared about this, you're scared about that, you know, what is this, what is that? And that manual just didn't provide jack squat, you know? It, like, I had to take a risk, like, by only plugging in one power cable, which come to find out after the motherboard not um, uh, booting up, like I realized that you know you need both power cables in the motherboard. So I figured if you need both power cables in the motherboard, you need both power cables into the graphics card. And I mean, so I might you know might as well try it, you know. So I, and it works, which is pretty crazy, you know, like. The manual should tell you, you know, use both slots. Don't, you know, and with what it came, it came with this like adapter thing, and um, that's yeah, that's one of the major pitfalls I tell you about. Like when you're when you're new, your assumption, like building, like whenever you get something new and it has like parts to it, you automatically assume from past experience building other things that you know that aren't computers that you need to use just about every part that it comes with, like you're automatically geared to think that hey this came in a plastic bag with the uh, you know whatever I bought so obviously it goes to it and needs to be used in some kind of way but for the graphics card the plastic thing that came with was just an adapter I didn't need it at all but the manual didn't say hey you don't need this unless it was just like put plug it in the card to the computer motherboard and plug it into the power supply you know like well duh of course it's going to need power you know what's this for you know so basically I didn't need that at all just the cords from the power supply which were you know were loose cords they didn't come directly from the box itself you just use it as a you know to link the, the two things together so that was weird um, another thing that was like that uh, which was which I, I was after the whole graphics card thing I was used to um, and that was the uh, I'm trying to think what was it um, well, I forgot what particular component, um, was it the, uh, was it software, what was it, was the mouse or the key, might have been the keyboard, was one of the keyboard, one of them came with another, like, plastic bag full of, you know, cords, and, like, at first, you know, your instinct is, uh-oh, these cords, they go to something, you know, you can't just stick, you can't not have these cords in there. But once again, it was just another adapter. It wasn't necessary, you know, for power or functioning, you know. So that, you know, that's one thing. But also, that also falls in the main category of uh, being familiar with the cords and the um, ends, because like, honestly, that was the main part of it. So, looking at my notes, uh, uh, desktop screenshots, um, 
I appreciate anybody watching anybody who watches this video. Um like I say I'll be uploading new boss PC game gameplay. Um because you know to me Xbox One PS4 sucks, you know, suck. And uh and my computer is stronger than both both those things. So I mean like like you know, screw those guys. And it wasn't that expensive. It was like, oh well PC cost an arm and a leg. Um not really like this PC. Yeah, I I bought parts and stuff specifically to like be w way more powerful than the Xbox One and PlayStation Four. You don't have to do that. You can buy basic parts, and it'll still be as good, you know. And you'll also have the satisfaction that hey, you put it together yourself. You know, this is your machine. You know, it's with custom a custom look and style. Like you know, I chose the green and black um, style or whatever. So, like, it's not that expensive. I mean, Xbox One, they want 500 bucks. That's 500 bucks plus you have to pay, what, another 80 bucks for Xbox Live Gold. I mean, unless you want to play it by yourself the whole time. And some content's hidden behind gold. Like, you need gold to get this, you know. So, ba basically, you have, you have to get gold, period. You know, because if you want new content and you want to play with your friends, you need gold, you know. So, um, there's 500 for the machine, 80 bucks. For Xbox Live service, um, which I well after this full year or whatever, which went up from sixty bucks. Uh, also, the games cost um, the all the games I'm gonna put on my PC are uh, free, you know. So I mean, it's not you know I didn't pay anything for games, you know, which doesn't have anything on it now. Like I have two unzipped folders. One is for Super Nintendo games, and one is for uh, regular Nintendo games. So. Which I can't wait to play them on this man. This this, this screen is so great, man. Especially with the anime chicks, like that that uh, oh my goddess anime is so awesome. But anyway, um, yeah. So like I say, you could build a decent PC or just simply another thing I like about the PC is you can just upgrade what you have. You know, you like well I don't have so much money for a new PC or all new parts. You know whether they're low end or high end. You know I just don't have the money. Well, you might can make simple changes, like buying more memory, or which is like what a hundred bucks, you know. So you can upgrade the memory in your your PC. You know, your you might have a pretty good CPU, but it might not have memory. You basically just look at your system stats, uh, whatever, and just you know you can make small changes. It'll make a big difference in the long run. So that's one thing I'm really happy about with a uh, PC. Um, like I said, like I said, it was really if you familiar familiarize yourself with the different cable types. Um, I mean that's that's like seventy percent of it. You know the rest, simple hardware stuff. Um, the only tools I used was a regular um, Phillips head screwdriver and um, some wire cutters, not to cut any wires or any you know you know you know diffuse the bomb type crap, but just like I, I wanted to move some mounting pegs that were in the case and that's just physical you know grunt work I mean there's no technological method to it you know you just move the pegs to match the holes they're in they're pre-cut into the motherboard you know so you know, it's super simple super easy um the power supply was a little bit intimidating because it's like this mass of snakes like I mean it's these huge like cables and cords like unbelievable you know and they, at first once again, I'm familiar with the cables. You don't know what's what, you know. So, um, anyway, the ending of the video is longer than all the rest of the videos put together. So, I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm your host, The Raven. Um, stay, look at my channel for video game updates and uh, playthroughs, walkthroughs, um, box new stuff. Um, also, be on the Plants vs. Zombies 2 is going to come out uh, soon. I mean, first they announced it for August, then they pushed it back, and then they still, they're still uploading videos to YouTube about it, but they're not being specific on a date. Um, hopefully, I'm hoping they pushed it back so they can release the PC version along with the iPad version, because not everybody in the world has an iPad Touch in 2 or 3 or whatever is out. They make a new one every 6 months to steal your money anyway, so anyway. Uh, stay tuned for Plans for the Zombies uh, 2 gameplay when the game comes out. Uh, I'm your host, The Raven. I appreciate you watching, and uh, have a good day.